Essentially, tension comes from unanswered questions. Tension comes from anticipation. When you're kind of dealing with suspense and horror, you really have to get to know characters and really have time with them to really understand and feel the loss of when they are taken by the aliens. And that really lets us have a lot of different experiences and understanding of how scary these aliens are. And so this gives us a chance to really kind of get you involved and also be able to kind of pull the rug out from under you whenever there's a loss of a particular character or whatever it is. When you can survive an encounter, beat them, man, that's when you feel like a badass. We're gonna have a lot of different places than you've seen maybe in the movies. So we're gonna be able to, to see places that you are familiar with, like Hadley's Hope. It's after the atmospheric processor has blown up, so it's been very torn up. And it kind of had an explosion that explodes up, uh, not out, but nonetheless, it still had an impact on what happened to some of those areas that you were familiar with. So you now get to come back in there and, and see them in a, in a destroyed or distressed state that you didn't see before. You'll be able to explore areas that you hadn't seen in the movie. For example, being on the Sulaco, we'll have a lot more time to spend with the Colonial Marines there, as well as getting closer to areas that we've all wanted to see, like the jockey ship uh, that we'll be able to explore more in and around. You want to have the lighting, the feel, the surfaces, uh, the characters, the equipment, the just everything that you would have seen in the movie, you want to have that be as accurate as possible. You know, Sid Mead did the original designs for the Sulaco, and he's helped us realize how the rest of that ship looks. Great. Now my friggin' tracker's broken. Just watch for red dots. That's what I'm telling you. It's Motion tracking, you know, that ping. And then when you hear the blip, when the aliens are actually in, in the vicinity. It's such, a, such an iconic sound. And when we got the source material for 20th Century Fox, the actual um, audio that was recorded and, and foleyed and, and some of the other stuff that was digitally produced, man, it's so exciting to be able to play with that content and then work that content into the game. I think that Aliens fans, people who really love this franchise, are going to be really happy with the way in which we brought this forward. It's got a very strong story, it's got great action, it's got an interesting enemy. Fans should be expecting to be scared, they should be expecting to be excited, uh, they should expect a lot of action, just like the films. They should expect an experience that is an interactive version of all the Aliens films that they've loved so much and finally realized in full 3D. You know, I've made a lot of video games, I've made a lot of action games, I've made a lot of games that involve shooting and games that involve soldiers and I, I mean, and, and games that, you know, where we're saving the world from aliens too, frankly, and uh, I gotta be honest, I've been stealing from aliens my entire career. You know, there's always lines from the movie or situations or events where we just borrow and, and it's influenced all of us, it's influenced an entire generation. When we get to uh, spend time in the real fiction, in the real canon, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting because we're not borrowing from it, we're building onto it and we're adding to it. So it's, uh, it's just a thrill to be involved. Yeah.